Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of how VSTA integration in Microsoft Office InfoPath 2007 has enabled users to create dynamic XML-based electronic forms to meet their unique business needs by extending InfoPath functionality. In the following video, we will work through InfoPath training material and use the InfoPath form template design mode in conjunction with the VSTA integrated development environment or IDE to create a hello world dialog box. We'll then add a text box control that will automatically fill the text box with the current application user's name. Finally, we will create a new form template with two sections containing billing and shipping address text boxes of which the latter will be turned on or off via a checkbox depending on whether the two addresses are the same or different. Now let's get started. We first have to open InfoPath, then click to design a form template once the application launches. We'll choose to base the new form template on a blank template document and click OK. When the blank template appears, we'll go to the Tools, Form Options, Programming menu to select the form template code language. VSTA supports the Visual Basic.NET and C Sharp.NET languages. We'll select Visual Basic for this first form template, then click Controls from the Design Tasks menu, and click and drag a button to the template. We'll double-click the button to access its properties, change the label to Hello, and click to edit the form code. We are prompted to save the form template, and once we do, the VSTA IDE launches with the form template's Visual Basic project. You will notice that the button's code structure is pre-generated, so all we have to do is add the button's event handler code that will create a dialog box when the button is clicked, where the green comment prompts us to do so. Note how VSTA's IntelliSense feature makes code writing easy and quick while minimizing errors by completing partially written commands. When we return to the form template in design mode and preview the form, we can test the Hello button by clicking it. When we do, the Hello World dialog box launches, then disappears when we click OK, just like it's supposed to do. We'll now go back to the VSTA IDE to try out VSTA's debugging tools on this form template's code. Debugging can be especially helpful to users learning Visual Basic, C Sharp, or the features of VSTA, and to those working with complex code functions or performing fixes. We'll first toggle a breakpoint at the Hello World event handler code line from the VSTA debug menu. We then click to start debugging, then click the Hello button. This will execute the code up to our breakpoint and highlight the event handler code line to let us know where the debugging stopped. We can then click to step over this breakpoint and the rest of the code will execute, launching the Hello World dialog box as before. We'll now delete all of our breakpoints and stop debugging. In this next part of the video, we'll be adding sample code included in the InfoPath walkthrough to the Hello World form template we've been working on that will create a username text box control. Back in our InfoPath document, we first need to go into design mode through the tools menu. We'll then select data source from the design tasks menu, right click my fields, and then click add to add a new field to the form template. We'll name the field employee and leave the type as field and the data type as text before clicking OK. We then drag the new employee field onto our form template, select its text box, and navigate to the tools programming loading event menu. When the VSTA IDE launches with the form code, we'll copy and paste the loading event handler code needed to fill the text box with the current user's name into the newly created and commented event handler section. After saving our changes to the form code, we'll return to our Hello World form template in design mode and click to preview it. Because I am the current Windows user, my name appears in the employee text box. In this last part of the video, 
we'll create a new form template containing the checkbox controlled optional address section discussed at the beginning of this demonstration. So we'll once again open InfoPath and start a new blank form template. We'll first save it. Then navigate to the Tools, Form Options, Programming menu, where we will this time select C Sharp as the programming language. From the Tasks, Controls menu, we'll add a section to the form template then add a text box to that section, followed by a check box, then an optional section, and finally a text box to the optional section. We then right-click the check box control and select Changed Event from the programming menu. In the VSTA IDE, we'll add the code necessary to display or disable the optional shipping address section depending on the status of the checkbox, to the new field to changed section of the form code. We'll then save the modified form code and click to preview the form template. We can add a billing address to the first text box, then click the checkbox to display a second text box where we can add a separate shipping address. If we click the checkbox again to remove the check, the shipping address text box disappears and we are left with one address to be used for both billing and shipping purposes. Microsoft Visual Studio Tools for Applications, or VSTA, has been integrated in Microsoft Office InfoPath 2007. This software customization solution allows InfoPath users to customize electronic form templates using InfoPath's Managed Object Model, or OM, to meet their specific business needs beyond the standard tools provided by the InfoPath application. The use of managed code business logic written in either Visual Basic or c -sharp ties VSTA, InfoPath form templates, external Windows applications, and a business's existing information systems together for an efficient, accessible, and powerful electronic forms solution. With VSTA, form templates are both scalable and shareable from a single desk to a business-wide platform to the World Wide Web. And from the casual user to the developer, users will enjoy VSTA's capacity to cater to their individual skill level and needs. For more information regarding VSTA, visit Summit Software's website at www.sumsoft.com or contact us by email or phone for sales and information.